Flow Comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. God has something for you. Don't let him go. Say, Lord, you got something for me. I don't want yeah. it, you know. So praise God. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and he wants to correct you. You know, his is, he's our Heavenly Father. We're his children. So he's yes. going to correct us because he wants us to do well. Amen. Woo! We're going to be talking today. Well, before I say that, I want to say this. We're celebrating this month, July 2024. We're celebrating 12 years. Amen. So this is our 12th year anniversary. And I just want to say thank you to all of you for your prayers, your love, your support. And uh, couldn't do it without you. Amen. Amen. So you keep praying for us and keep praying that Lord fills this place up. Amen. Amen. Because uh, there's no other way. Only the Bible, as a matter of fact, John uh, 14, 6 says this. Is, Jesus says, there's only one way to the Father. And that's through me. Says Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. Right. So, yeah. you know, hey, when you leave this place, <laughs> Monday through Friday or Monday through Saturday mm. or Sunday, it don't matter, all week long, you bring Jesus to the world. Yes. Amen. And let him know. Say, hey, if you don't have a home church, come visit our church. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. It's worth the drive. It's worth the walk. <laughs> it's worth being there. Amen. Yes. Because what we do is we magnify him and we preach the word of God. Amen. Amen. That's well, the only way to be. So anyway, happy anniversary to the New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. And today we're going to be talking about this. And we, every one of us, we need to remember this. We have victory in says victory is mine daily yes but you know how you're going to have victory daily you're going to have to have a word in you and you're going to have to confess and you're going to start living the way he wants you to live yeah. amen no more about me me myself and i it's about us having victory in him daily amen but we need to get the word in us and stay full of the word and stay connected to the word. He's our source. He's our power. And we need him each and every day. Yes, we Amen. Do. So if you can't tell, I'm excited. <laughs> You'll find out. <laughs> 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 so okay. let's make this declaration together. We'll grab your sword. Yes, if nobody Lord. ever told you, you're a soldier of God. You're yes. a warrior of God. Not yes. a warrior, yes. <laughs> but a warrior. Yes. Amen. And we, we need to get the word in us so we can know what to do as warriors for God. Yes. Amen. Let's make this declaration together. It says, this is my Bible. I am what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Woo, hallelujah. You know, I used to, who I used to care so much about, uh, what the world, what my friends, my girlfriends, or whoever was around me think about me. <laughs> Not anymore. I just think about what he thinks about me. Am I doing? Am I pleasing you? Yes, amen. 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 My priorities have changed. Exactly. I have changed. Amen. Woo. I used to say the ugliest and meanest word it say was. <laughs> Not anymore. I put a guard on my mouth. I put a guard and I only speak what he wants me to say. And I only speak positive. I only speak uh, the word of God. Amen. Whew. Hallelujah. Because I used to be a cussing champ. <laughs> 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 Woo. No, none of you have ever done that before. Uh -oh. And I've got a couple of nuggets. Listen, matter of fact, we've I read this before, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna read it to you again. Mm. Lord says, read this again. So I want to read it again. It says, listen, the church is not an audience to be entertained. That's it. Amen. Because you know what? When we go to worldly places, when we go to worldly place, uh, bars, when we go to worldly games, when we go to worldly events. Events. Yeah. You know, first thing we say is, you know, I didn't have a good time. I was not entertained at all. Hmm. And we come to church and we expect the same thing. Hmm. He says, hey, <laughs> I'm not here. It says the church is not a place, an audience to be entertained. It, it is an army of God yeah. that needs to be empowered. To yeah. go and do what God has yes. sent us to do. Amen. The Bible says that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You know, when you get the word in you and you start thinking the way the word says, then you can go and do what he wants you to do. And we're the body of Christ and every one of us has different functions to do. 
But you know what? When you get to know him and have a relationship with him, you'll find out what he wants you to do. First of all, he says, we're ministers of reconciliation, bringing the lost into the body of, of Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. And every one of us is a minister of reconciliation. So don't exclude yourself like the world does. They exclude you. We don't need you. You're not good enough. You're not qualified. Mm -hmm. Well, God has already qualified you. Yeah. And God has already says he's called you. He's approved you. He's anointed you. And he's equipped you to do. He's equipped you to win. He didn't put you here to lose. He put you here to win. But we've been losing because we don't have our priorities right. right. And we don't have him in our lives. So we need to get him in our life wow. and start pressing on with him. Yeah. He says, He says, press on. He didn't say, well, sit down, you know. Hey, you've been a bad boy. You've been a bad girl. Sit down. You're going to sit for a while. No, and you know what he says? He says, dust yourself off. Yeah. And he says, press on. Yes. Wow. He's already qualified. He's equipped you. So see yourself the way he sees you. And that's the way we change. When we come to him, we, we totally change. We start thinking the way he wants us to think. The way he, his word talks about us. Amen. Woo, man. So I've already read this one. Listen to this one. It goes a little deeper. <laughs> Mm. Pastor, you still a pastor, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one says, church does not exist to entertain us or to bore us. Oh, oh man, that was boring. <laughs> you know what? We Listen, we have, we have maybe next week or whatever, but we're going to be talking about attitudes. Oh, boy. Before we get here, we need to have the right attitude. Oh, yeah. 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 Before we meet with him, we got to have the right attitude. Mm -hmm. Amen. Otherwise, it's going to be boring. But like I said, when we have worldly events, we go, you know, man, I was bored. Mm -hmm. They didn't entertain me at all. You know, that was bad. Church does not exist to entertain us or to bore us. Jesus never bored people with the gospel. Entertainment was never the point. Truth was the point. Truth sets you free. And truth is never boring. You know the truth. It says it's going to some translation says it's going to set you free or it's going to make you free. Yeah. Free from what? Free from the enemy. Free from the lies, the traditions, the worldly ways. Mm -hmm. Because this is what God wants. This is the way God wants you to go. Mm -hmm. I am the way, the truth, the life. Nobody goes to the Father but through me. Mm -hmm. So instead of being bored by what people are saying, this is, you know, we believe that more than what than the, what, than the word of God. People say this, well, what the Word of God says, you heard something, is it scriptural? Does it line up with the Word of God? If not, you know what? Just throw it away. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is what the Word of God says. And you know what? Don't, just don't throw it away and keep it to yourself. Mm -hmm. Share it with them, you know. Yeah. Let me show you what the Word of God says. Yes. Amen. So they can get themselves straight and released from the enemy. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. He comes to steal, kill, kill and destroy. And destroy says don't go to church to be entertained uh -huh. I he said I don't go to church to be entertained I don't go to church to be bored I go to praise and worship yeah. I go to read and hear what the, the God's Word I go to be taught I go to be challenged I go to be discipled I go to fellowship with believers and I go to be inspired mm -hmm. into action come on now Amen. hey when you're inspired in it you know <laughs> We used to have pep rallies. Yep. <laughs> and man, after after every pep rally, man, well, I was, I was so pumped up, you know. I wanted to go. I mean, I was ready to meet some Goliaths out there, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to go and give it our all. Uh -huh. Well, we need to do this. We need to be inspired into action. Yes. Because you're a somebody. You're a child yes. of God. And like I said, you weren't put here to win. I mean, lose. You were put here to win. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. And victory is mine on yes. a daily basis. Mm -hmm. But we got to get our thinking right. The Bible says, renew your mind. We're going to uh, we're going to read that scripture here in a few minutes. But we need to renew, renew our minds to the things of God. How often? Once a day? Once a month? Once a week? No. As often as needed. Yes. Because the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And yep. the battlefield is the <laughs> mind. And you're thinking 100 miles an hour. No, boy. I said, wait a minute. How about put a stop, you know? <laughs> renew your mind with the word of God. Yes. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. You, Is Pastor excited or what? Praise God. Victory is mine. Mm -hmm. Listen. 
believers. This is, should be believers daily marching song. Mm. Victory is mine. Thank you, praise team. That was a great song. <laughs> victory is mine. Victory says victory today it's is mine. mine. Yeah. And you know yeah. what? Yeah. When you sing it out, you speak it out, excuse me, <laughs> they may not like you singing, but guess yeah. what? I'm going to sing it out <laughs> the best I can, you know? And victory is mine. Yeah. And yeah. I'm going to have victory. There we go. Victory is mine. And that's yours. No, it's not yours. It's mine. It says mine. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, praise God. <laughs> well, we'll read it now. But it says, you are a victor, not a victim. Never a victor. But you know, yes. the world is going to see uh -huh. the, this. The world is going to try to put you in this spot. Oh, yeah. Amen. The enemy is going to try to put this on you. Yeah. You're a victim. No, I'm a victor. I'm victorious in Him each and every day. Yes. Amen. Don't allow yourself to be a victim. Keep going. Whew. Man, this is good. Amen. Yep. Okay, that's one of our first scriptures here. It says First John 5, 4. And you can write these down. You can go and read them later on because sometimes there are different translations and you can go look them up in different translations. First John 5 and 4 says, For everyone born of God overcomes the world. world. It says, this is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. faith. Amen. Oh, man. Yeah. This is, this yeah, is good. Keep going. Awesome. There's a victory sign. <laughs> First Corinthians 15, uh, 57 says, But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Ooh, each and every day. Yeah. Amen. Listen. We're, we, we'll read some more about this, but... We already have the victory. He's given us the victory. Jesus overcame death, hell, and the grave. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Woo. Man, he overcame Amen. all these. And we can have victory if we stand on it and we declare it and we confess it. And yes. then speak it. Uh -huh. Keep going. Man, this is good. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 57, and 58, New Living Translation. But thanks be to God, he gives us victory over sin and death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. So many, so my dear uh, brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord. Mm. You know, we work so enthusiastically for the world. Mm. <laughs> I remember, well, I, I, I used to. <laughs> oh my. For the Lord, for you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. That's it. Amen. Lord, I'm doing this up to you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let's 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 remember it. Enthusiastically mm -hmm. excited. Be mm -hmm. thirsty. Be hungry for more of Him. Grow in the things of God, mm -hmm. just like we grow in the things of the world. I mean, hey, there's so many things there, you know. But yeah, no, let's turn that around. Mm -hmm. Keep going. This is good. Yes. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Leave it right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Says Second Corinthians five seven says, "For we walk by faith." faith. And not by sight. You know what? You wake up and you don't set your priorities right. You just wake up, you get yourself ready, and I'm thinking 100 miles an hour. I got so many things to do. I got to do this, 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 and this, and this. And we walk out, you know, and all we're doing is we're seeing things by sight. Mm. Amen. But when we get our priorities right and spend time with Him and get right with Him, you know what? Yeah. There might be giants out there. There might be rage out there. There might be all these things waiting for you. But guess what? Hey, I'm walking by faith. Yeah. And I'm going to speak the word over this situation. Amen. So I'm not giving in to that. And I'm going to see my. I'm going to see things with His love and His compassion because I have my Jesus glasses on. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> and we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Oh, Hallelujah. Keep going, Carmen. Man, these are good. Yes. I'm excited. There we go again. This is the day the Lord has made. Mm -hmm. Says, some translation says, I will. This one says, we will rejoice and be glad in it. I, and I could take the I and cross the I and put Jose and mm -hmm. put your name. Personalize yes. Yes. those scriptures to <clears throat> fit you. Says, Jose will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. Oh, but you don't know what's facing us. Oh, you don't know this and this and this. So many bad things happening. It's raining. It's snowing. Man, it's so hot out there, you know? No, it doesn't matter. He says, rejoice and be glad. Yeah. Lord, you give me another day. 
Yes. I'm going to rejoice and be glad Amen. in it. Amen. Amen. When we get our priorities right, mm -hmm. thinking the way he wants us to, you know, hey, if I can't go outside, I'm going to pray. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the enemy's going to be sad. I'm going to make God glad and the devil mad. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to praise you. Why I can't go outside? So guess what? I'm going to call some friends. I'm going to call people and let them know God loves them. Yes. Let them know I'm thinking about them. Let them know I'm praying yeah. for them. There's things to do. You yes, know? there is. Woo! Man. Come on now. Amen. <laughs> Bible says you can do all things through Christ. All things. Amen. <laughs> Who strengthens you? We need his strength every day. If we don't, if we don't, <laughs> listen, my car is a great tool, <laughs> but it needs gas to go <laughs> where it needs to go. <laughs> we need, we're spiritual great beings, you know, but we need his fuel to go where we need to go. And if you don't have a word in you, the world's going to fail you. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be down and out. Yeah. I want to be up and out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. But they love the Lord shall renew their strength. Mm -hmm. Speak to him. Hallelujah. Be right there. Mm. It says, we walk by faith, not by sight. It doesn't matter what the circumstances, conditions, situations, surroundings, or environments are. That's it. It looks like cares, worries, anxieties, or problems. And uh, 1 Peter 5, 7 says, well, you know what? Let's go here. 1 Peter 5, 7 and 8. I want to read 7 and 8 to you. Mm. 1 Peter is right before 2 Peter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's start with verse 6. It says, Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he yes. may exalt you in due time. His timing. Remember, it's his timing. Yes. When you trust him and you pray, Trust Him. Have faith yes. that it's going to come to pass. Amen. Not when you want it, when He is ready for it. It says, verse 7, it says, Cast it all care upon Him because He careth for you. In the Amplified, it says, Cast in the whole, cast in the whole of your care, all your anxieties, all your yes. worries, all your concerns, yes. once and for all on Him. Oh, for yes. He cares for you. Yes. Affectionately yes. and cares about you watching watchfully mm -hmm. amen but then verse 8 says be sober be mm -hmm. vigilant because your adversary the devil yes. as a roaring lion yes. walketh about seeking who he may devour that's it the enemy you know how you know how he knows how to attack by the words you speak mm -hmm. he knows because you know if you're speaking negative if you're speaking bad mm -hmm. you're going to open the door and he's going to yes. walk in then you're going to say how did he get in? Yeah. Uh -huh. Let me think about this. What did I do? Yeah. You spoke the wrong things. You said the wrong things. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful not yeah. to say them. I can yeah. think them, but I don't have to speak them out. That's it. Hey, Amen. Amen. So I say, oh, if I'm thinking, I say, well, I renew that in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, says, it doesn't matter what the odds look like. How many of you remember David and Goliath? Mm -hmm. oh, boy. <laughs> you know, David went where the army of uh, Israel was and he brought his brothers some lunch yeah. <laughs> and all of a sudden he gets into a fight <laughs> he gets in a fight he's he who's going to fight this giant no, nobody wants to fight this giant mm -hmm. everybody is afraid mm -hmm. of the giant yeah. David says I'm not afraid of him I'll fight him King Saul says you know what you need an armor on mm -hmm. uh, here here's my armor <laughs> Saul is a big man it says, that armor won't fit me. Mm -mm. I'm going to use what God has given me. Mm -hmm. And he used his slingshot. Yes, he did. He was a shepherd boy. <laughs> he says, when the lion came uh -huh. and, the bear. and the bear came, he says, God was with me. And you know what? My God is with me. Yes. And my God's going to back me. Mm -hmm. Man, he had more uh, <clears throat> bone, backbone than <laughs> all the army of yes. Israel. I know. Yes. All the rest. Yeah. Yes. And yes. he says, he went, he, you know, he, he just yeah. didn't walk out and then back out, mm -hmm. you know. He said he ran to yes. the giant. Ran and he picked up five stones. <laughs> and the giant's laughing at him. And who do you think you are? Mm -hmm. Man, I'm going to kill you and feed you to the birds. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. And David took care of him. Amen. Yeah, so, the, what's the odds? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. What about the walls of Jericho? Yeah. Amen. This is a mighty general. Uh -huh. <laughs> it says, uh, it says, uh, how am I going to 
overcome these walls. You know, nothing. I mean, they were so thick. Mm -hmm. They had uh, yeah. chariot uh, races around there. They're mm -hmm. so wide. But you know what? Jesus told me, gave me a plan, and said, Joshua says, "This is what I want you to do: put the war, uh, the praise and worship team up mm -hmm. front." <laughs> and I says, "What?" Okay. You're a general. I said, "Wait a minute. That's that's." Not the battle plan is out there. I've been taught. That's not the battle plan. I know. Yes. He said, put your praise and worship to your yes. Remember, Lucifer was archangel. Yep. And he was the praise and worship leader in heaven. Mm. And he wanted to be old God. Oh, yeah. So God sent him out like lightning out of heaven with a third of the angels, you know. Uh -huh. So still, anyway, they marched around the city until God says, now shout. <laughs> and they shouted, and you know what? The walls came mm -hmm. down. Yes, they it was did. so flat, mm -hmm. chariots went across. Uh -huh. They walked across. They didn't have to jump on anything. Yes, they yes. just walked across, defeated yes. the people there. Amen? What about Jonah in the belly of the big fish? Mm -hmm. I say, oh my God. God told Jonah, he wants to use Jonah. He says, go to Nineveh and preach the gospel. Uh, he says, no, I'm not. He yeah, says, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm, not. I'm not. I'm going. He went the other way. God has talked to us and we told him, no, I'm yeah. not. You call, you're talking to the wrong person. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going the other way. So when he took off in the boat and they was having problems and they were having storms and he told the captain, you know, you're having problems because... I'm running from God. Yeah. He says, you know what? If you throw me over, your problems are over. So mm -hmm. guess what? <laughs> they threw him over. Yeah, over. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? God already had a plan. Yes. He had a big fish waiting yes. for him. <laughs> yes. And he was in the fish for a few days there. <laughs> Still, he survived. And then he says, okay, Lord, I'll do what you want me to do. <laughs> Some of us have found ourselves like the prodigal son, you know, down and out. It says, okay, Lord. And some of you are watching, some of you are listening. Mm -hmm. And you've been running too long and trying to do your own thing. Mm -hmm. It's time that you just give in, surrender yourself to, to Him. Yes. And say, Lord, I hey, say, man, bless you. you I repent. Come in my life, be my Lord and Savior. I want to do for you. You know, today, this day, you can start living yes. for Him and yes. start going for Him. He says, dust yourself off. Mm -hmm. I forgive you. Now press on and do mm -hmm. what I've called you to do. Mm -hmm. And start growing in the things of God. Yes. Open the Bible. Read the read His Word. Mm -hmm. Go to a Bible-based church where you could go and yes. learn more about the Word. Yes. And be encouraged. Yes, yes. And not just put down and not well, I'm not good enough. I'm not qualified. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. He's qualified you. He's called you, anointed Thank you, equipped you. Amen. And you can do what the Bible says. You can do all things all through Christ who strengthens you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hallelujah. We ain't even got out of first place yet. <laughs> <laughs> so he talks to the fish. God talks to the fish. He fish go and spits him out. And mm -hmm. then him out. And right he does what he God tells him to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hallelujah. So quit running. We can learn from these so we don't have to go do these <laughs> crazy things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what about Daniel in the lion's den? Huh? They told him and said, hey, they tricked him and says, you know, he's not supposed to be praying like that. Mm. So you know what? Hey, you, you, your word said mm -hmm. you're going to throw him in the lions. Mm -hmm. And the king likes David. But now he's got to be obedient to what he said. Yeah. So he yeah. throws him in the lions. And then he, <laughs> when he comes the next day, you know, he's waiting to see David all laid up, you know, saying, mm, he's not here. He must be in the belly of the mm -hmm. lions. <laughs> no. He was just sitting in there, <laughs> talking with him, yeah. nice petting him down, nice little titties, you know. <laughs> so, hey, odds were against him. I guarantee you, <laughs> Moses, first Moses, he didn't want to say, well, you know, he called the wrong person. Mm. I can't speak, I can't talk, mm. you know. You find somebody else, he said, no, your brother Aaron will be with you. And you go. But then he found himself, he took people out of uh, Egypt. And then he finds himself between the army, Egyptian army, and the Red the, uh, the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. He said, "Oh Lord, help me! What do I do?" <laughs> so he told him what to do, and he stretched his rod. Yeah. And guess what? The sea parted. Oh my gosh! I mean, he parted, and they, they were able to go across oh, and dry land. Amen. 
Amen. Mm -hmm. And they dry, went over afterwards at close when the army, Egyptian army was going across. Mm -hmm. So just for that odds were again, whatever you may be facing. Yeah. Let me see what I wrote just. God's ability is not affected by our circumstances. Definitely. So whatever you may be going through, mm -hmm. God can see you through. Mm -hmm. Amen. And see yourself the way he sees you. Yes. You're good. Amen. Amen. And he's not giving up on you. Mm -hmm. Don't you give up on yourself. That's right. Yes. Amen. That's Again, we're not fighting for victory. We're fighting from victory. Why? Because Jesus has already done it for us. Yes. yes. Amen. We need to know this. Yes. Uh, Jesus paid the price. He paid the price in full. Win or lose, mm -hmm. positive or negative, mm -hmm. the choice is yours. Speak the right things. Amen. Uh, Proverbs 18, 21 says, New King James says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. We're talking about words you're speaking. Mm -hmm. That's the power of the tongue is the words. Mm -hmm. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Mm. Okay, so you know what? I had to give him a piece of my mind. I just had to tell him this. I had to say this. No, you didn't have to say it. You said it, but now you're going to have it because it's you chose. Now it's coming back to you. Yeah. Because you're sowing in your garden. Yeah. We all have a little garden, and we want to keep it nice, 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 nice. No weeds growing. Just good things. Amen. But it all it all deals with the words you speak. Speak the right things. Amen. So you can't blame nobody but yourself. It says death and life are in the power of the tongue. But those who love it will eat its fruits. Your choice. Amen. You can have victory in Jesus daily. Again, is your choice. Victory is mine. Victory Amen. is mine. Knowing the word is knowing the truth. And keep going, Carmen. It says, John 8, 32 says what? New King James says, And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free or set you free. Whatever translation you use, it's going to make you free or set you free. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to make you free from all the mindsets, all the traditions. we got to do it this way because this is the way it's supposed to be. Yes. No, is that what the Bible says? Is that what the Word of God says? Is that what Scripture says? No. But we've always done it like this, and we're not going to back down from that. We're going to do it this way. But you know what? Jose's going somewhere else. <laughs> I'm going to go where the Word of God is being preached, where the Word of God has freedom. Amen? And because it's the Word of God that's going to set yeah. me free. Not yeah. traditional ways. Right. Not no yeah. mindsets. You know? Yeah. I'm not there to please men. I'm there to that's please it. God. And a lot yeah. of times we fall into these things because we're trying to please men more than we're trying to please God. That's right. what religion is all about. Yeah. Too many man-made rules, you know, yes. that yes. you can't live up to. And then they come against you and yeah. say, you know what? You're not good enough. Uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. So either make you free or set you free, depending on what yeah. translations. First John 5, 4 and 5 says this in the King James. Keep going. There we go. It says, for everyone who has been born of God overcometh the world. Yes. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. Mm -hmm. Our faith. Yes. Yes. What is it that overcometh the world mm -hmm. except the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Yes. Amen. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. And the easy to read version, it goes like this. Because everyone of his, uh, because everyone who is a child of God has the power to win against the world. It is our faith that has won the victory against the world. Come on now. Mm -hmm. So who wins against the world? Only yes. those who believe that Jesus is the Son, the Son of God. Amen. Man, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Who <laughs> <Ooh>, set me free. <laughs> yes. Ooh, man, just like getting on the dance floor. Uh -huh. Amen. Just letting go. <laughs> I've seen some of you. <laughs> Woo. We, we, we can't even dance at church, you know. Oh, Lord, no, we don't do that here. No, no. no not. <laughs> <Why> not? <laughs> if you think you're fighting a losing battle, fear not. Mm -hmm. Know that you can have victory in Jesus. Yeah. Learn to stand on his victory. Yeah. Learn that his truth, you have freedom. Mm -hmm. It sets you free. Woo. Yeah. Hallelujah. Keep going, Colonel. There we go, right mm -hmm. there. Fear against the cares, the worries, defeat slowly, mm -hmm. hopeless, 
falsely accused, feeling uh, the world's at the end. You know, when you start feeling this way, the Bible says renew your mind. We're going to get there in a minute. Mm. But we got to renew our minds because the enemy cannot make you do anything, yes, yes. but he can put thoughts there. Yeah. Right. And you yeah. hear things, mm. and we read things mm. daily. The world bombards you with negative things. Negative. Amen. Things you see, things you hear, things you're around, things you read. Mm. And we got to renew our minds with the things of God. Because if you don't renew your mind, you're going to start thinking like the world. And you're going to have fear come on you. Yep. But the Bible says, 2 Timothy 1 7 says, King James says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, yes. yeah. but a power, love, and of a sound, sound mind. mind. He also says, you can't see our sign over there, but a few minutes ago, Carmen showed us, it says we walk by faith, mm -hmm. not by sight. Mm -hmm. And fear is sight. Mm. So we don't want to walk in fear. We want to walk in, right. faith. in faith. Faith and trusting in Him. In Him. Amen. Keep going. Man, this is good. Yes, it is. Woohoo! It says, know that Jesus paid the, the full price. And he is your sure victory. Again, David and Goliath. <laughs> well, we didn't talk about this one, but the three Hebrew children. Mm. Amen. They threw them in the, in, in, in the fire. fire. Mm. Fiery furnace. Mm. Wow. Make it hotter. Seven times, times hotter than hotter. before. Oh, gosh. And he threw the three children in there. Mm. And you know what? When he, they looked in there again, when even the soldiers that, that threw them in there, they were consumed. Yes. Yes, they they were. died. That's they how died. hot it was. <laughs> but when they looked in there again, it says, look, we threw three in there, but I see four. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Guess what? Bible says, Jesus says, he never leaves you, nor forsakes you. That's it. That's it. You know, when you start feeling lonely and fearful mm -hmm. and all these things come against you, again, renew your mind mm -hmm. to the word of God because he says, he's with you. Yes, he is. And we're not walking by flesh. Mm. We're not walking in fear. We're walking by faith. And yes. I'm going to walk in His Word Absolutely. and confess His Word. When I'm confessing Him, I know He's with me. Mm. David says, my God is with me. Yes. No matter where I go, God is with me. Mm. That's the positive attitude we need to have. Yes. That's a faithful attitude we need to have on a daily basis. My God is with me. Mm -hmm. I don't care what I'm facing. The greater is He that's in me than He that is in the world. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're facing, he's bigger. My God is bigger. Amen. We just sang, thank you, praise him. We sang that song. My God is bigger than any mountain mm -hmm. that I can face. Mm -hmm. I don't know how he's going to do it. I don't care how he does it, but I know he does it. Yes, yes. Because I have yes. faith in him. <laughs> Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Praise That's what God. he wants us to do. He wants us to fight a good fight of faith. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. How do we fight a good fight of faith? Well, we got to get the word in us and mm -hmm. speak the word. And we want you we daily we fight the good fight of faith. Yes. yes. Amen. And I give in to the things of the yes, world. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. Lord, amen. amen. Hallelujah. I just wanted to read this. Make sure you get it. Jesus, listen. Peter denied Jesus three times. Mm -hmm. First he wanted to fight. <laughs> he says, I'll fight for you. He said, No, you won't. He says, Before the cock crows three times, you'll deny me three times. Mm -hmm. And guess what? At the third time, the the soldiers came and said, "Hey, the people accused him. Hey, he's one of them. No, I'm not. Three times, and then he says, "No, I'm not." The cock crowed, and he denied it the third time. Yes. And you know what? They were taking Jesus away, mm -hmm. and he was leaving. And Peter turned around and looked, and Jesus turned around and looked, and they looked at each other and he says, mm -hmm. "I told you he was going to deny me three times." But guess what? He didn't give up on him. No, he didn't. In Acts 2 and 4, it's talking about 3,000 3, souls. He used Peter to bring a message. Yes. Mm -hmm. And 3,000 souls came, to, to, came yes. to Christ, to the body of Christ. And in Acts 4 and 4, it says 500 men were saved, not including women and children. That's it. Amen. Mm -hmm. So you know what? <laughs> he denied Jesus three times. He didn't give up on mm -hmm. Peter. And he's not giving up on you. Those of you That's watching, it. those of you listening, he has not given up on you. Mm -hmm. So we don't need to give up on him and don't quit. It's time to say, Lord, I failed you. I've sinned against you. But 
I repent. Come in my life, be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And he won't give up on you. He says, you know, I put you there to win, and this is what I want you to do. Mm -hmm. And you've confessed him as your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Confess them means you got to speak words out. Mm -hmm. And you said it and confess him as your Lord and Savior. And he's going to come and be your Lord and Savior. And now you start living with him and going for him and doing for him. Amen. Woo, yeah. Hallelujah. Please and him and not the world. <laughs> Amen. So fight the good fight of faith. Keep going, yes. cousin. <clears throat> okay. We've been talking about reading this, so now we're going to read it. <laughs> okay. It says we fight a spiritual battle daily. So when we fight, if we fight a spiritual battle daily, guess what? The mind is the battlefield. So yeah. we need to renew our minds on not just daily, but we got to renew, renew our minds as often as needed. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because you, your mind is going all the time. Yeah. So it's not just not one time a day. Mm -hmm. As often as needed. Mm -hmm. In Romans 12, 1 and 2, King James says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies mm -hmm. a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Mm -hmm. And now verse 2 says, But be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by what? Renewing your mind that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. If you're not renewing your mind to the, what the Word of God says to the Word of God, you're going to start thinking like the world and doing like the world. And you know what? You're going to fall short. And it's not because of Him. He sacrificed His Son. He yes. sent His Son. His Son was sacrificed Jesus gave his life so that you can have victory yeah. and not defeat. Yeah. And then we choose defeat instead of victory. Mm -hmm. It's up to us. You know, one thing he gave us was our own free will. Yes. <laughs> so you can have your own free will, but still <laughs> confess him as your Lord and Savior. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, amen. So in the, um, well, it says, do not be conformed to this world. Don't imitate, obey, adapt to it, follow the crowd, but be transformed by change, mm -hmm. altered, different, improved. Amen. Confess him as Lord and Savior. And you know what? The Bible says that he'll forgive you. He yes. says the old is gone, the new is in. You had a spiritual birth. <laughs> Amen. A spiritual birth. You can't see it on the outside. I mean, on the outside, it's an inside thing. Yes. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. So remember, renew your mind that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. Amen. I think we're going to stop here. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. We're going to stop there, and I'll read this last one. Keep going. It says, mm. instead of thinking like the world, it says, meditate on these things. Philippians 4 and 8 says this. Finally, my brethren, mm. finally, my brethren, Whatever things are true, noble, just, pure, lovely, and of good report. If there is any virtue, and if there be anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Philippians yes. 4 and 8. Amen. So it tells yeah. us what, what, what to think about and what to yes. think on. Amen. And know that you can do all things through Christ. All Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. Glory. Before we close, say this. The victory is mine. Victory is mine. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah. So we'll stop right there. I hope you got something. I got yes. something. Those yes. of you watching, again, we'll say this again. If you have never confessed him as your Lord and Savior, now's the time, amen? Yes. Now's all you need to do is confess him, you know. Well, sometimes we, we think about traditions. We think about people saying, uh -huh. qualifying you and disqualifying mm -hmm. you and saying you're no good, you're a nobody, you're homeless, nobody cares about you. Mm. God sent his son and Jesus yes. gave his life for you. Amen. Amen. But you need to confess him as your Lord yes. and Savior. Amen. Lord. Say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come to my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Say that. Amen. Confess that. Mm -hmm. Come to my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Start living for him and get to a Bible-based church where you can learn the word. Yes. And where you can be encouraged and not discouraged. Yes. Where you know that you can do all things through him yes. who strengthens you. Amen. Ooh, Praise God. God. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Also, if you have sickness in your body, I speak to my body all the time. You're the temple of the Holy Ghost. So be healed. And sickness has no place in me. 
sickness, I rebuke you. I command you to go in Jesus' yeah. name. Yeah. Woo, by Jesus' stripes, I am well and I'm healed from head to toe. Mm -hmm. And no malfunctions in my body. Everything functioning the way he created the function. Amen. Amen. Woo, so let's remember that. Be healed in Jesus' name. And uh, time to give. So we just go to our website. should be on the screen there. NBCBigBen.com. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. And for Cash App, just go to New Begins Church of the Big Ben. God loves you and we love you. And happy anniversary, New Beginnings Church of the Amen. Big Ben. Amen. Amen. Love you. God bless.